Hey makers, Trevor here for Love Make Share, and I've got something new that I'm gonna test today. Filament. So recently, filaments.ca announced that they have a new line of filaments. They call it the Econofill line. Uh, and the idea is that it's to compete with some of the lower cost American and Chinese brands of 3D printing filament. Uh, they call it Econofill, and it comes in a limited number of colors in less fancy packaging. And, uh, oh, hey, cool. So I ordered this from filaments.ca on Thursday afternoon and it arrived kind of midday on Friday, which is pretty excellent. I like this. Got a sample, little gift from us. Try our engineering pro PLA for strong and functional parts. Happy printing. Got 50 grams of the midnight black pro PLA. That's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> Hey, we see you bought our cheap filament. Here's some expensive stuff to whet your appetite. Cool. It's not packaged in a particularly fancy way. Uh, it doesn't come on a particularly fancy roll. It comes with a resealable bag with some extra desiccant, which is great. And here's the filament roll itself. Conno fill by filaments.ca. So I got a kilogram of the blue PLA. Let's get this busted open. We'll see how we feel about this. The pro PLAs from filaments.ca, I understand, come on a clear roll so that you can see how low it's getting. Uh, I actually haven't ordered their other stuff myself. And it comes with, uh, it also has markers to give you a sense of how much you've used. I have never had a fancy filament spool like that, so I am I don't feel particularly left out by not having it. So they say on the website that you don't need a heated bed, but they recommend 60 to 80 degrees C, nozzle temperature of 190 to 230, uh, it comes in kilogram spools. This is the 1.75 millimeter PLA in blue. Oh, this is uh, interesting. I gotta say, I, I do like that color. The uh, the color here was actually chosen by my eldest. There was a coin flip and she won the toss and she chose blue. All right, I just wanna give you a quick sense of the pricing here on the Econofill. Um, what you see here is kind of similar to what you would see on a, on a monoprice website or anything, but the big advantage for me is that uh, all the prices are in Canadian dollars. So I'm not paying a markup on cheap monoprice filament or whatever else in order to get it into Canada. What I've got here is 16 bucks for the filament, two bucks in tax, $11 for shipping, and I got it next day via Canada Post expedited parcel. I can't complain about any of that. I'm, I'm pretty happy with all the price. It still means that door to door, this filament cost me about 30 bucks, um, but that's 30 bucks Canadian instead of 35 to 45 American for a monoprice or hatchbox or similar. And it's $15 and a trip in the car less than it would cost me to buy filament uh, at a local place here in town. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this loaded up onto my Velman Vertex K8400 printer. I'm going to load up a test print. I'm gonna print it and I'm gonna see how it compares to some other prints that I've done. All right, the test print is done. This is Control V's uh, printer calibration test piece uh, V3. I'll put a Thingiverse link down in the description below. And let's take a look and see how we did. Zoom and enhance. In general, I am pretty happy with how this filament printed. Uh, I am not yet seeing anything that can't be attributed to me needing to tune my settings a little bit. Like there's some stuff that needs to change with retraction, uh, on this piece here, uh, the overhangs are glorious. They're just really nice. Not entirely sure what's going on right here yet. 
yeah, there's some, uh, there's a bit of weirdness here. It seems like temperature or flow or got a little bit messed up. Um, surface finish is great. These little thin sections right here did really well. It bridged beautifully. Look at that. Two millimeter bridge, great. Four millimeter bridge, great. Eight millimeter bridge, great. 16 millimeter bridge, just perfect. The surface finish is really nice. Um, uh, overall, in spite of a little bit of weirdness on this curve section, which I can probably diagnose as being related to my printer and not so much being related to the PLA itself, it's pretty good. It prints very easily. I, I haven't done any tuning at all. And uh, again, aside from, aside from some printer settings that have to change, this did really quite well. I'm not sure what's going on here. This is the only thing that I have some questions about. Uh, if you can help me diagnose down in the comments below, I would love that. So overall, first impressions of the filaments.ca Econofill, very good. Uh, really quick service. I like the fact that they gave a sample of their Pro PLA in the box. The order was processed extremely quickly. Shipping happened very quickly. And I mean, based on one print only, uh, it seems to print not too different than a monoprice filament, which is kind of my daily driver anyway, so I'm not too upset about that. I think what we may be finding is that budget PLAs right now are getting pretty consistent and tend to be pretty similar. Some of the issues that I kind of expected to see off this, I'm just not seeing, so I am pretty happy. I am excited to print more with this filament and come back for a more thorough review later on. So that's it. If you've tried the Econofill, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, please hit like. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and it'll let you know every time we make something new. Until next time, I'm Trevor. Thank you for watching Love Make Share. Hope you've been inspired today. Oh, go make something. <laughs>